In this video, I'll show you how to set up a home gateway and build a private smart home. First, we'll go to wireless devices and get a home gateway. Then, we'll connect our home gateway to our cable modem. Now, we can begin setting up our home gateway. Our LAN is already set up for us. We will have to set up our wireless though. We'll change our SSID in order to prevent other people from discovering our network as easily. We'll also change our authentication to WPA2 PSK. This allows us to enter in a passphrase that will require all other devices entering our network to enter it as well. Next, I'll add some devices and set them up. When I add a garage door, for example, I'll click on it select the advanced button, click IO config, add a wireless card, go to the configuration, under settings I'll select home gateway, then under the wireless card I'll change the SSID to match the one on the home gateway, then select WPA2 PSK and enter our passphrase. This will now connect me to our home gateway. I'll also add a bunch of other devices and connect them as well. As you can see, I've added quite a few new devices to our home network. It is likely that smart homes will be more complex than this in the future. Once I've connected all my devices to my home gateway, I can then click on either my smartphone or my laptop, go to the desktop tab, scroll down to IoT monitor, and log into my network. This will provide me with a list of all the devices that have been added to my network. I can select a device such as the garage door and manipulate it by either opening it or closing it. Items such as the humidity monitor the smoke detector, and the CO2 detector are sensors that will input information to the network but cannot be manipulated. If a device is not configured correctly, such as the kitchen lamp, if we turn it to none under IoT server in settings and we refresh our page, it will no longer show up under the list. Once we put it back to home gateway and refresh, it will show up again. There are a few other devices I can add to my network. If I add a solar panel, for example, to the roof of the garage, and a battery to the living room, I can connect these devices using an IoT custom cable. As the solar panel gathers energy, it will transfer that energy to the battery. I can then connect the battery to other devices around the house allowing me to power the house 